Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I am the CHALL Doncaster born but built for theme parks and your theme park journalist worldwide. Today is another theme park newsroom update hailing from SeaWorld San Antonio in Texas, and it's the official announcement for Catapult Falls, the world's first launched flume coaster. Now, before we get started with this whole project, the history of the project, the details, the new information, the concepts, and the analysis, and my thoughts on the project, please. Please do like, comment, subscribe, click the FK's bell to name this YouTube video. We're on the road to 3,000 subscribers and 800,000 views in total. So please, 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 let's get there as soon as possible. I love doing these news updates for you. That's the primary focus of the channel, to bring you the latest theme park news around the world and attractions news around the world as well. Also, guys, do check the description down below and the screen below as well for the social media links. Uh, like I said, the social media names are on the, in the screen below as well, so you can follow them on the screen as well. And for now... Now guys, let's have a look back at the history of this project, Catapult Falls, and how we came to the last 24 hours and the announcement of the name and the theme. So let's talk about this then. So this all started, as you may well know from previous videos, back in March, end of March 2022. And this was an obtaining by Park Fans Network of plans for SeaWorld San Antonio's currently called 2023 project. According to the documents, SeaWorld San Antonio was planning to build a new log flume like Water Ride on the site of their former long defunct Texas Splashdown log flume attraction. And the new attraction was slated to use and reuse much of the former rides queue and station and in the new layout even integrates entire sections of Texas Splashdown's original layout. Now, at first, the new log flume sounds sort of boring. However, this one was potentially very interesting at the time because the second half of the layout, the portion from building 989 on the back of the station, building 990 uh, on the original uh, leaked plans, uh, there, there would appear to have been an intermin flume elevator lift following by, fo followed by a sizable drop which takes boats under the entrance and exit pathways next to building 990B on the plans. From there, there was a long straight portion of flume below building 990C on the plans before the final splashdown above building 993 and we were pretty sure at the time according to park fans that the lengthy straight section would feature an airtime hill similar to the one found at Chapas at Fantasy Fantasia Land in Germany. Now the finale sequence alone was pretty neat but the first half of the layout was the most interesting part. The top right of building 990 on the plans there was a portion of the layout in a narrow trough with some sort of conveyance method. At first glance it looked like a pretty normal run off the mill log flume lift but there's some serious oddities here. Firstly there was no indication that this portion of the layout ever departs the trough, it starts in. In fact it almost looks like the layout only gains altitude after the conveyance method ends, note the support footers. Uh, another oddity here was that the, after the conveyance portion of the layout ends there's a stretch of elevated flume that crosses a previous part of the layout and a service road. It seems to me like it would make sense to cross these elements at the highest point of the portion of the ride which if the conveyance method was a lift it would be at the top of said lift. That said, in the case, the layout crosses both these elements at the halfway point between the end of the odd trough portion with the conveyance method and the start of the splashdown. Almost as if the elevator trough portion we see in the plans is an airtime hill like we saw earlier in the layout. Putting the details together, park fans indicated that the trough area could be some sort of launch leading into an airtime hill followed by a splashdown. Now we come to the last 24 hours and the revealing of Catapult Falls. Now, if you follow my socials, you know that we retweeted or reposted Park Fans' official leaked information on the name Catapult Falls and one of the graphics they've obtained through the park. Now, uh, that, all, that obviously came to be in the end. A few hours later, that came to be and the announcement finally came out of Catapult Falls. So, let's have a look through the official statement on the website while the video plays in the background. Family Adventure begins in 2023 with a splash at SeaWorld San Antonio on the all new Catapult Falls experience. Experience the rush of the world's first launched flume coaster and the only vertical lift in North America. Feel the anticipation, then hang on tight as the world's steepest log flume 
uh, coaster drops you over the falls and into the rapids. This is unlike any expedition you've taken before. Don't miss the rise and fall of River Thrills, your family you will never forget. Only at SeaWorld San Antonio. So, just to give you those stats again and those records, it's the world's first launch flume coaster, North America's only vertical lift flume coaster, and the world's steepest flume coaster. Now, the ride has a 30 um, feet per second launch, a 7 uh, foot per second lift, and a 53 degree drop, which is absolutely stunning. And as we said, it will sit in that Texas splash down site. Now, Screamscape has reported the announcement of Catapult Falls, uh, confirming the long rumored new flume ride uh, and repeating some of the details. Now, on the flume coast, the only flume coast with a vertical lift in North America, there is a technicality to that, which Screamscape points out, and I noticed that as well. There was, a, there was a little bit of a protest uh, for, for Journey to Atlantis at the sister park, Seawell San, uh, San Diego, featuring a vertical elevator style fill for that flume ride, though from an entirely different manufacturer. Uh, but that was just a little technicality. I don't. I think technically some people may count that, some people may not, but that's, not, that's a whole other argument for another day. But um, this is a wonderful project. So... My thoughts on Catapult Falls and at Ciro San Antonio. This is a real record-breaking investment. I think that the park are doing a really cool job with this. I think that me personally, I feel like Ciro San Antonio has really got one of the most standout and unique investments this year across the world. And the reason why I say that is because not only does it break several records, that for me is a real innovation in theme park technology and roller coaster technology and flume technology but also it's a real renovation of the intamin flume concepts a really big uh, revolution of those concepts as well so i think it's a really big step forward for intamin but also for the park as well texas splashdown i've seen like, old pictures of that and things like that it's you know it was a traditional style log flume it didn't look half bad for its time it did it did look all right for its time but of course it was getting on a bit so um it, it needed to go and it's a long defunct ride and you know to finally see that eyesore in the park being you know renovated into something new is a fantastic sight to see it's kind of like uh, when I was reporting early on a couple of years ago about Lost River of the Ozarks at Silver Dollar City and the fact that that was scheduled for some kind of refurbishment and of course we ended up getting that uh, in the end and you know, and it's a new and a new type of flat ride, if you if you will, uh, to replace that. And um, you know, it was a real ice. Uh, it was it was a decent ride, but it looked a bit of an eyesore at times. And um, you know, what we've got now in its place is definitely a whole hell of a lot better. So for me personally, I feel like this is a wonderful addition. It's a real innovation in water ride technology and a real innovation in roller coaster and flume coaster technology. And I think the Sea World's doing a wonderful job partnering up with Intamin here. Uh, on this project you're going to get some really nice views at the top of that drop of the um, the coaster in the background you saw it in the concept art uh, I think it's Steel Eel in the background and uh, well one of the coasts anyway was Steel Eel in the, in the background and um, you know you can see that in the background you can get some really nice views of Steel Eel around the, around the, the turn of the drop and um, you've got a really nice project here and it's been building and building and building and um, you know it's been great covering this project, covering San, San Diego's project, uh, all the Busch Gardens and SeaWorld projects, it's always great covering those projects and um, you know it's going to be a really nice investment when it opens in 2023 so that is the theme park news update done from SeaWorld San Antonio and Catapult Falls opening in 2023, thank you very much guys, make sure you do like, comment, subscribe, the socials are at the bottom of your screen and in the description down below and for now my name is coaster chow the chall don't cast a board but build for theme parks keep living the coaster life and i'll see you guys in the next video very very soon take care guys have a splash tax tastic day don't worry texas splash down you have been remembered and you have been replaced with something that will continue your legacy